Good morning. Good morning, everybody. So today, uh, I'm just going to jump right on into it. You guys also, thank you for all of the birthday wishes. That was very kind of you. Um, I just kind of want to jump right in. So today, we're going to be talking about the system of influence. And if you've recalled some of my past videos that I've been doing this week, um, it's very important to think about these systems as all being related. You cannot have, you cannot access one without accessing other parts of the other, and they're designed to kind of flow together. And on Saturday, I'm going to be explaining a little bit more about what that looks like and uh, more details about what that really means. But today, I want to talk to you about the the system of influence. This is one of the most powerful kingdom systems that we can understand and get hooked up to and really utilize to our uh, to to bring the kingdom of God into this world. It's primarily through this system, the system of influence. And um, remember that I'm always talking about the spiritual world first, the things that are unseen, the things that are invisible, which make the things that we see. And so if you don't have this actually established in uh, the spirit world, you're not going to have actual influence in the natural world either. Influence is um, is the real system. The devil cannot create. He can only manipulate. He can only make counterfeits. He can take what already exists and twist it to appear a different way. And so um, it's very important too to understand that Influence is actually the real system and popularity is the counterfeit. Again, I talk more about that in the reset, which you can pre-order. I remember to put the link in the video today so you can uh, so you can uh, click that link straight away and uh, pre-order the, the reset if you if you feel led. But um, so I, I discuss the differences between popularity and influence in the videos and in the ebook that are that go along with that bundle. But, um, again, remember that all of these systems kind of flow together. And so yesterday I talked about the system of surrender, which is also the system of authority. And in the system of influence, you can only influence the things outside of you. So whether that's a person or a system or a family unit or whatever it is, anything in the natural that you see, your workplace, um, anything that you want to influence in the natural, your impact on that area is only going to be as strong as you have been influenced. And so again, going back to what I spoke about yesterday, the centurion who came to Jesus who said, you don't even have to come to my house, just say the word, just send your word, because he understood the system of authority. He understood that he was so impacted by that system, by the system of surrender, that he could then influence other people to the same degree that he had been influenced. And uh, I speak again more about this and go into more details about this in the ebook, but I want to also say that this is why certain people have more influence than other people because they've either been operating in the system longer or the degree to which they've been impacted has been greater than somebody else. And so you can only and give away that which you have. You can, right, if you need money and I don't have any money to give you, I can't help you. I can only give to you what I already have, what I already possess, what's already under uh, my control and my dominion. I can only give that away. And so if you have been influenced to a large degree in the kingdom, you can give away a greater measure. And I wanna give you a really quick example of this happening again. When Jesus went to the other side of the lake, he was immediately met by a man possessed by legion, a legion of demons. And he uh, sets that guy free, of course, and the guy wants to go with Jesus. He says, you know, let me come with you. He wants to go with him. It's the first time that he's been freed. Jesus, you know, the rest of the community had isolated him. He didn't have community. And Jesus instead says, no, go and tell people what the Lord has done for you. That's what he says. And so... By the time that Jesus comes back to that same area, by the way, when Jesus left, the people were begging him to leave. They were like, we don't know what's going on. Get out, you know, please leave this area. It's too strange to see this guy 
who, who has been running around naked, living in the graveyards, closed, and in his right mind, sitting at the feet of Jesus. And they beg Jesus to leave. By the time he comes back, the, the, that entire region was not only begging Jesus to come, they were bringing out all of their sick people. They were bringing out everybody who needed to get healed or delivered. And this goes to show you the impact that you can have in the system of uh, influence but again, only to the degree that you have been influenced. That man was so touched by the system of influence. He had um, come underneath the authority of Jesus and he had experienced his own self that he was able to, his, his testimony automatically gave credence to this system, the system of influence. And so people who were once rejecting Jesus and asking him to get out, they were automatically uh, coming to him this time around. The second time he came by, they said there's something here because of the testimony of that man. And it's because he was touched to a great degree by this system. So if you want to have a lot of influence, it's really important to understand that there has to be a very deep way that you are touched by this system. Again, you can only give away that which you have. And so if you haven't been transformed, if you haven't been changed, if you haven't felt uh, uh, the system of influence through the kingdom of God come into you and actually do a work in your life, you're not going to be able to change the the system, the workplace, the environment, the person or whatever that you are trying to influence. That, that, that is how the counterfeit of manipulation can quickly come in and you can quickly see that you're trying to just do it in your own strength. You're trying to make it work on your own um, out of your own will and not partnering actually with the kingdom of God where there's power and other things flowing through those systems. I also want to talk really quickly about, um, just very quickly, about how these systems work um, work together and they're not, um, they're not separated. You can't, you, I can tell, talk to you about the, these systems individually, but it's very important to understand that they're pieces or parts of the whole. And so um, I, I, I kind of spoke about this in, my, uh, in the second video that I did on, on praying prayers, like how altars are the system within the system. Altars are a system within the system of prayer. Um, in, in the, in the uh, New Testament, it says that faith, hope, and love remain, right? But the greatest of these is love. And so love is actually the the light. Love is light in the spirit world. And it should penetrate and it should be the um, base layer of everything else that's built upon it. So if you want to influence somebody, it should always have the foundation of love. If you want to influence something on the outside of you, that should always come from the foundation of love. Um, love hope and faith are, are layers within all of these systems. And when you strip it all away, what's left should be nothing but love. And uh, when you get away from that, it's when you fall into the counterfeit systems, it's when you get into the manipulation and things like that that come from just wanting your own will to be done. It's not actually coming from a place of love, which embodies respect, which embodies um, a, a giving up your right to be right to that other person uh, who, who, th who believes that they are right or giving up your will ultimately to the will of God so that his will can be done through you and in you, right? And so, um, and so when, when you understand that these things are all tied up into every single system, every single other si system will have faith, hope, and love. And this is why, um, for example, uh, Peter was walking into the synagogue one day and there was a man who had been uh, begging for alms outside of the gate as was his custom. He was always there. People were very familiar with him. And he says, I don't have any uh, any uh, silver or gold, but what I have to you, I, I freely give to you. Well, prior to that, it says that he could see his faith. He saw his faith and that he was ready for a miracle. And so when you're using... When these three items are there, faith, hope, and love, and again, the, the, the basis, the foundation of all of these needs to be love. When those are present, all of the other systems are able to, to be established. All of those other things are able to be formed, and, um, and the, the flow of all of these systems is able to continue to go on. If you recall back to my first video that I did on Monday, 
I spoke about soul ties and how important it is to actually understand that that can be hindering the flow of other things within your life. And if you're seeing a blockage, you know, to make sure that that is taken care of because that entanglement can actually impede the flow. Why? Because there's no love there. There isn't, there isn't that pure flow able to be established, again, with the basis being love. Um, this is also why the system of fear, that, that that spirit can never attach to you where there is love because they're complete opposites. They, they cannot coexist. One, only one of those can be present at a time. And when there's pure love, there cannot be any fear because it just won't have any space to occupy. There has to be that availability in order for that system, that spirit to be hooked up uh, to a person or in an atmosphere. And you can prevent it from being there by making sure that love, pure love, true love, not like not like uh, what we kind of think about, I love pizza, I love this song, I'm talking about like real, uh, real biblical love, real agape love. Um, uh, which does not also mean like enabling somebody or, or doing things like that. It means actually taking a stand and implementing what kingdom has already said on earth as it is in heaven. That's what we pray and that's what we should be doing. Okay, influence also requires real leadership. I'm, I just want to quickly get through my notes here. So um, if you want to influence something, it isn't enough to be able to say, I want to influence um a person, a system, or whatever. You actually have to have the ability, the the natural skill set, so like the talents that are required in order to be a leader, and you have to be able to um, have the wisdom, this is another system, being hooked up into that and being able to know when to speak and how to speak and what to say and when to say it. All of that kind of stuff, how to lead people through example and all of that, that's another you, you have to have all of that working with you if you want to influence stuff on the outside of you, whether that's people or systems or whatever it is. And again, uh, going back to what I said earlier, this is again why you can only influence what you yourself have ex experienced influence in. If you've experienced influence, let's say, to 1% within your life, you are only going to affect people 1%. If you want to totally change something outside of you, you have had to have experienced complete and total change and that's just the way that it works and in that transformation process in that changing process you will um, be able to understand what is required to be a leader so that you can implement influence and not just exude popularity you have to know how to actually be a leader and lead people and change those people tutor them mentor them into becoming leaders themselves Finally, my last point here that I want to quickly make is that all you see is not all there is. And when you understand the system of influence, you're going to be able to more accurately pinpoint the root. Remember, I talked about this a little bit yesterday as well. It's not enough to just um, uproot something. You have to be able to know what to establish it in its place, what goes there. Don't leave a void. That void is just asking for something else to come in and occupy that, that territory, okay? And we can see this in the natural in all types of governments. We can see this in the natural in all types of places where there's continuous conflict and things like that. You cannot leave empty space because it's it's just inviting something more ruthless, something uh, more consuming to come into that territory. And so again, there is no neutral ground. You have to be able to say, I see what the root of this thing is. I see why this system is, is working the way that it is. And I want to change that system and so at the root of that issue, I'm replacing it with something else and I'm implementing it through these stages, through these other systems. You're going to know which part to uh, lay down first. You know, similarly, we wouldn't, um, if we wanted to build, there's a blank piece of ground, right? And we want to build a house there. We wouldn't just, you know, give the builders shingles because we have to lay the foundation first. We have to have the framework for the house put up first. And so similarly in the, in the spirit world, regardless of whatever it is, whatever issue you're dealing with, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be poverty, it could be barrenness, it could be any, literally anything. You have to be able to, to see the root and influence will allow you to not only identify what's there, but it will, um, 
true influence will allow you to uproot that thing and to, in wisdom, build the house that you want to see there instead. And so, um, again, these, these systems all work together and I speak more about influence and kind of understanding how it works and how to identify counterfeits and things like that in the ebook, in the, um, in the videos that go along with that system. So this is gonna conclude the um, Facebook Live today. If you wanna check out the reset, it's still on pre-order. It's pre-order through Saturday, through Sunday, I think. Yes, through Sunday. It goes, um, it'll be available on the 20th. If you've already pre-ordered it, it'll be sent out to you automatically on the 20th. And um, I wanted to make sure that all of these videos were done before it went out um, to, to actually have, before you had the package because these videos that I'm doing in the mornings go along with it. I don't, um, I don't overlap the information. So it's tied together, but it's not the same repetitive information. So I wanted to make sure everybody had these videos prior to watching the videos that are in the, in the package itself. So you guys, I'll see you again uh, tomorrow morning. I'm gonna be talking about some of the systems of this world um, and understanding how those systems work as well so that you can have a better idea of what I mean by uprooting and planting something else uh, in its place instead. So you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you tomorrow morning, same time, uh, talking about the systems of this world.